Where do my ideas come from? I wish it was genius. <laughs> ideas come from many different sources. One place that they come from is actually just talking with people. You learn about what's actually needed and you see these connections that you might not otherwise spot. It's kind of a random walk process. You have an idea that excites you, you're trying to solve one problem and you stumble across something else. About halfway through my PhD, we had developed a new way of making complex microparticles. At that point it was an interesting idea, but it didn't have any real application for it. We had some simple pharmacokinetic models. We were nothing more than some calculations on the back of an envelope. I always had an interest in health, so we had started to think of how can we apply these particles to diagnostics. We got the idea that we could scan ears uh, for fitting hearing aids. Come up with a battery that can store massive amounts of electrical energy. Store energy in springs. Deliver a drug to the bladder of a human over an extended period of time. A lot of things that happen in research labs don't necessarily turn into companies. There's always questions around the technical merits uh, initially, but really the key questions come from understanding the market. Where do you take it? You have to, at some point, jump in and say, I'm going to see this through to that step. I thought if you have a great idea, of course you're going to have a great company, but it turns out that's not always the case. Making things happen has got a lot of dimensions to it, and that's why this is so hard. Desponde allows professors with their students to apply for grants to get some seed funding uh, to be able to take their idea, move it to the next step, and see if it's truly a commercial opportunity. They bridge that difficult gap between pure R&D and applied development. Carrying the MIT uh, research to the point that it can be spun out either in a startup or licensed to a larger company. There are a lot of things that the Spandy Center does that uh, when we have a discussion, the venture people in the audience look at it and say, boy, I'd never back this. This is crazy. The odds are small. But then a year later, the same venture people come back and they say, wow, this thing is terrific. I want to invest in it. And that year and that effort is, is what really the Spandy Center really helps. But there's more too the success than, than having the resources to develop the technology a little bit further. It's having sound advice. The Derspani Center was ideal in that sense. It not only provided the funds that I couldn't acquire otherwise, but it also provided that level of guidance that, that I wouldn't otherwise had. A Despondent Catalyst, which I've played a role in se several times in several different uh, Despondent Impact projects, your real goal is to figure out what questions uh, need to be answered, and maybe even what extra ingredients need to be added to the mix. A, a Catalyst is a coach. Some teams have market problems or financial problems where the Catalyst can help a lot. Some teams just need to be set in a direction of research. And then the, the, hopefully the end product is something that is packaged in a way where the rest of the world can make a decision on. Catalyst, you know, comes from the term in chemistry that you lower the activation energy, the energy required to make a reaction go. I see my role as exactly that, um, as doing whatever I think I need to do to bring this innovation that much closer to making an impact. Despande, in its own sense, is a catalyst of sorts. If it wasn't for Despande, I think there are several uh, projects that have turned into companies that may never have turned into companies because individuals wouldn't have met each other. Just meeting people and, and getting along with people and being on the same wavelength as people that have gone through the Despande process was one of the most memorable things for me. The primary purpose of Deshpande Center is to make us succeed. Had it not been for Deshpande, it's unlikely that the ideas that we proposed would ever have found their way into patients. I'm at a point where I want to see technology get from the lab bench and, and be of service to society. It's been such a rewarding experience. I love being a part of a small company. Um, I love going to work every day. I couldn't imagine a different life. <laughs>